Okay, the corks that I'm going to use are corks from wine bottles, but you can use regular corks without any printing on them. I like to do this because uh, it gives it a little bit of charm. And I cut the corks lengthwise so that the brand name of the wine uh, shows on the top part. And I'm going to cut them using this little jig that I made, which I slip onto my bandsaw. First, I'm going to raise the blade. and slide it down this little slot, which I've already cut. Right about there should be okay. Then I'll let my blade back down just a little bit. You want the cork to be able to clear it. Now, I don't know exactly how many wine corks we're going to use. Uh, but what I did is I went to restaurants, uh, basically, or places that uh, sell a lot of wine and have wine tastings, and I asked them to keep the corks for me. So over a couple of months, I got a pretty big collection of these corks. Uh, I already have some cut in half, but I'm going to show you what I do uh, to cut these corks. Now, this little device right here, I glued these two little strips so I can take a full-size cork and set it in here and push it through the blade. The advantage of this is that I can put another cork behind it and push that one through and my fingers never have to get very close to the blade. Now you will want to sort of hold a cork from twisting but this isn't rocket science, you know, just cut them in half, they'll look great. Okay, you'll go ahead and do that with maybe, for this, probably 20 or 30 corks. Just keep lining them up. Whoops, sorry. You just keep lining them up one after the other and pushing them through that bandsaw blade. <laughs> 